When it comes to pork consumption and its significance in China, we cannot overlook the indispensable role pork plays in many popular Chinese dishes, especially the globally renowned Chinese roasted pork. Consequently, an increasing number of foreign meat producers hope to export their products to China. It's worth exploring which country has the highest pork export volume and how they meet the stringent demands of the Chinese market. But before delving into that, let's understand why China has become the world's largest pork consuming nation. Canada is one of the top 10 pork producing countries globally, with various producers supplying a substantial amount of pork to China. While exporting meat products to China may pose some challenges for certain small-scale Canadian enterprises, it's not an insurmountable feat. They have not only expanded the scale of pig farming, but also made efforts to ensure pork quality. Next, when it comes to reaching Chinese consumers, let me introduce you to the famous Manitoba pig farm in Canada. The farm owner has opted to discontinue centralized farming systems and transition to using pig pen systems, including pens for breeding and individual pens for each pig, to ensure the highest quality and standards. The Manitoba pig farm is equipped with feeding and watering systems, environmental control systems, air purification systems, and cooling systems for pig comfort, health, and safety. Apart from natural breeding, the Canadian pig industry was towards artificial insemination, emphasizing careful breeding of pig genetic traits, sows, and newborn piglets are housed separately in their respective pens. The farm structural design is sufficient to accommodate various types of pigs and provide them with good living and growth spaces, it's worth mentioning that since newborn piglets and sows have different temperature requirements, the pens are equipped with two different temperature control systems to ensure their comfort and health. Newborn piglets need to maintain a temperature of around 95 F, while sows require an ambient temperature of around 60 F. Piglets are nursed for approximately 21 days on the farm before being weaned and grouped together to ensure optimal technical care throughout their growth process. During this stage, the farm provides high quality feed to promote rapid weight gain during breeding and growth stages. However, despite our best efforts, Risks are inevitable, therefore, we regularly check the health status of pigs and follow local vaccination schedules recommended by veterinarians. Additionally, the pens are regularly cleaned to ensure that pigs live in the cleanest environment possible after reaching stable weights. The Canadian Ministry of Health's caretakers load batches of pigs for export to various countries, including China. Pig exports to other countries must comply with the export regulations and procedures of both the exporting and destination countries. We monitor export routes regularly to ensure that pigs reach their destinations safely and in good condition. The Chinese people's love for grilled meat is undoubtedly evident, as this cooking method often appears on menus in restaurants of all sizes throughout the country and becomes a must-have for festivals or gatherings. Thus, China has become one of the largest pork-consuming countries globally. The preparation methods for grilled meat are diverse, with roasted pork being a specialty in many parts of China. Chinese roasted pork processing shops thoroughly clean and remove unnecessary internal organs before marinating the pork with spices. Finally, 
The pork is roasted in enclosed or hanging ovens, resulting in a crispy texture and tender meat with a delightful sweet taste and unique melted pork fat. According to experts' analysis, the prospects for the duck farming industry are very optimistic in the coming years, especially for the breeding model of high-quality products. Structural transformation will lead the livestock industry towards centralized production of high-quality food safety products, which aligns with the overall trend of the livestock industry and the development trend of our consumption levels. Therefore, the construction of duck slaughterhouses is also underway to meet the growing demand. Would you like to know the operational process of large-scale duck slaughterhouses? Let's explore the answers together. Hey, have you heard? There's a factory that slaughters millions of ducks every day, and it's modern inside out. The global demand for duck meat is growing, with the total production of duck meat expected to reach 5 million tons. Surprisingly, 83% of duck meat is produced in Asia, with China accounting for a whopping 69%, exceeding 3 million tons. Global duck meat production has also grown at a rate of about 4% over the past 10 years, which is astonishingly rapid. Don't underestimate duck meat, nutritionists are still studying it, they haven't figured out whether duck meat is better than chicken meat, but its nutritional composition is quite balanced. Not only Asian countries love duck meat, but European customers are also beginning to appreciate its benefits. Countries like Hungary, Germany, the Netherlands, and France are all starting to pursue the deliciousness and nutritional value of duck meat. The demand for duck meat in Europe has been increasing, which is a huge driving force for the duck farming and slaughtering industry. Duck farming in Asia has some interesting characteristics, which are quite amusing. They no longer use traditional farming systems, but are turning to closed farming models. They even came up with indoor barn floor systems to meet industrial production needs, consider animal hygiene, as well as requirements for controlling ammonia and protecting intestines. These folks even transform animal excrement into organic fertilizers, which is truly creative. Moreover, the pipeline systems now need to be elevated at close range, strictly controlling and managing temperature and humidity, both of which can affect the growth rate of ducks. Can you imagine? Ducks raised in these systems grow faster than express delivery. In these systems, ducks can reach 3.5 kilograms in just 42 days. However, don't forget, the journey from the farm to the slaughterhouse is also crucial for these ducks. Because it affects the quality and safety of duck meat. The transport vehicles must comply with animal welfare standards, ensuring that the ducks do not feel stress or harm and must be diligently cleaned and disinfected to prevent disease transmission. Of course, the transportation time should be shortened as much as possible to prevent the ducks from becoming dehydrated and exhausted duck soup. At the slaughterhouse, the ducks are placed in well-ventilated waiting areas, awaiting their big event. First, let's talk about the beautification process for ducks. When they arrive at the slaughterhouse, they are either joyfully stunned or given a little gas anesthesia to quickly lose consciousness. Next, a professional person skillfully cuts their neck arteries with a small knife to allow blood to flow freely. This process takes about two minutes to ensure that the color and texture of the duck meat meet our standards. Next, the ducks are immersed in hot water 
just like soaking in a hot spring, to remove feathers. We must ensure that the water temperature is between 58 to 62 degrees Celsius, and the time lasts for 2 to 3 minutes, giving them a comfortable spa experience. Then, the ducks are sent into cooling water, as if cooling off in a holiday resort, to lower their body temperature and prevent bacterial growth. Next, they are hung on an automatic conveyor line to undergo a series of makeover processes, such as wing clipping, foot clipping, head clipping, opening the abdomen, removing internal organs, cleaning, grating, cooling, and so on. Finally, they become duck meat products that we can confidently sell. But don't forget, these lovely ducks have to go through a process of packaging, labeling, freezing, or refrigerating for transportation and storage. Our packaging materials are quite interesting. They must have functions such as moisture resistance, oxidation resistance, and pollution prevention, just like putting protective clothing on duck meat. The label on the duck meat must clearly display its birth details, place of origin, production date, shelf life, weight, ingredients, nutritional composition, and storage conditions, so that consumers know what they are eating. Finally, don't forget the storage temperature of duck meat, which depends on its physical condition, either frozen at minus 18 degrees Celsius or below, or refrigerated at 0 to 4 degrees Celsius. Duck meat's adolescence also has a deadline, frozen can be preserved for 6 to 12 months, while refrigerated only lasts for 2 to 4 days. In short, these ducks have undergone a major transformation and finally become the superstars of our supermarkets. Duck meat is not only delicious, but also nutritious. It's not just about making roast duck, it can also be used to make various dishes such as duck soup, duck dumplings, duck salad, and so on. It has a delicious taste, tender texture, and is rich in protein, iron, zinc, vitamin B, and other nutrients, which are very beneficial to our bodies. Don't underestimate duck meat, it has some small abilities. For example, it can nourish in, moisturize dryness, nourish blood, nourish the liver, clear heat, detoxify, reduce swelling, and relieve pain, and so on. So whether you are weak, anemic, suffering from liver disease, lung disease, hypertension, hyperlipidemia patients, you can confidently eat duck meat. Of course, eating duck meat should be in moderation, otherwise, you will become the duck king. Eating too much can lead to obesity, high cholesterol, indigestion, and other problems. When eating, pay attention to selecting fresh, odorless, and non-rotten duck meat, then wash and cook it well, and avoid pairing it with some inappropriate foods, such as fish, shrimp, goose meat, chicken, milk, and so on, to avoid adverse reactions. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you have learned some knowledge and information about duck meat. If you think this video is good, remember to give us a thumbs up, share, and comment. Remember to subscribe to our channel, don't miss out on more exciting content. Bye bye.